living economics is a creative commons online resource that allows instructors to customize contents of micro principles to suit their teaching styles. Living Economics draws its content resources from two Creative Commons websites, namely the Opus One Journal website and the Flash Econ website. Opus One Journal publishes short instructor author or student author real-world applications of economic concepts. These applications start with an attention-catching story and end up with an application of relevant economic concepts. Opus One also has short summaries of cutting-edge scholarly works. Flash Econ publishes self-paced silent and narrated lectures on graphics-intensive economic concepts and topics. A typical silent flash animation looks like this, with self-pacing controlled by the play button, the back button, and the forward buttons. Self-pacing in a typical narrated lecture is controlled by the slider bar. The lecture will run its course without interruption, like this, the option R that delivers increasing return with more supporters. By controlling the slider bar, a viewer can repeatedly watch selected part of the lecture. The contents of Opus One Journal and Flash Econ can be accessed conveniently through Living Economics. Register instructor can customize their own table of contents by simply logging into their course site. To start with, we have no selections. Say we want a chapter on Opportunity Course. Using the search engine, we find a list of 23 articles related to Opportunity Course. We want this one, we want that one, and we want that one, and so on. Let's save these three articles under Opportunity Course. You can add outside link if you prefer, or go on. You could rearrange the order of the articles, save topics. Now you have a chapter under Opportunity Course. Alternatively, we could use the category browser to select articles. For example, we may want to select some article under comparative advantage. And there are four resources. We want that one. We want that one. Save it under comparative advantage. New topic. Next. Next. That's good. Save the topic. Now we have two chapters. Living economics shines when instructors want to cover sexier topics that are often overlooked by hard copy textbooks. For example, you might want to cover free market solutions using the category browser we see that there are 13 articles on free market solutions. We want that one, we want that one, and we want that one, and so on. Save the article under free market solution. Save topics. Now we have a third chapter, and so on. 
register instructors can add, delete, or reorder content resources at any time. Your customized table of content will be easily accessible to your students using a password unique to your class. To gauge how well your students understand the assigned readings, you can set up an online quiz using the Living Economics Test Bank. Your course manager might even allow you to pinpoint the areas of difficulty that require in-class explanations. Here, D is the correct answer, but only 38% of the student got it right. But why did 51% of the student chose E? Is the quiz question ambiguous? Or is the concept too difficult to understand? Living Economics has a dynamically linked and searchable glossary. The glossary can be accessed on the home page without login. You can search for a specific term, for example, opportunity course. The search engine will display the definition of the glossary term and a list of other glossary terms whose definition also contain the search term, opportunity course, here and here. If you are not certain about the exact search term, click List All and browse through the list by alphabetical order. Some glossary terms have embedded diagrams. For example, in absolute advantage, let's look at the diagram. All terms are linked to the relevant living economics content items. Let's look up the term moral hazard under M. Let's click on the link to the living economics contents for moral hazard. There are three articles that contain the term moral hazard. Let's look at one of them, easy money. Here is the term moral hazard. If we mouse over it, the definition will pop up in a balloon. This is what we mean by dynamically linked and searchable glossary. 